Now let's have the quotient rule for derivatives. If h of x is equal to f of x all over g of x, then the derivative of h of x is equal to g of x times the derivative of f of x minus f of x times the derivative of g of x all over g of x squared. Ibang students, ginagamit nila itong um, code na ito. So, to get the derivative using quotient rule, we have low d high or copy the function in denominator or low times derivative of the high minus high below copy the given function in the numerator times derivative of the function in the denominator or over low low or low square low d high minus high d low over low low so para mas magets natin apply natin ang quotient rule sa examples natin number one g is equal to one over two x Diretsyo na tayo. G prime is equal to low denominator natin 2x cubed times derivative ng constant is 0 minus high natin is 1 times derivative ng denominator 6x squared. Ayan. All over 2x cubed, low, low, squared line natin. Next, 0 times 2x cubed, wala na yan. Now we have negative 1 times 6x squared, so 6x squared, all over. 2 squared, we have 4, then x, 3 times 2 is 6. Pwede pa natin simplify for the final answer so negative 3 all over 2x 2 minus 6 is 4 so this is 4 okay number 2 f of x is equal to 5 over x squared minus 2. So, to get the derivative, now copy the denominator, x squared minus 2, times derivative is 0, minus 5 times derivative nito is 2x. All over x squared minus 2, this is 0. So negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x all over ito i x squared minus 2 raised to 2 na lang. Or kung gusto natin expand, pwede din naman. Diba? So this is now the final answer. Or kung ang nasa instruction without parenthesis, ang final answer, so negative 10x all over I-apply na natin yung rules natin ng special products. Let's na yun yung grading. Square the first term. So we have x raised to 4. Multiply the first term and the second term. So negative 2x squared times 2. 4x squared. Then square the last term plus 4. So, dami yung hiranagol, special products, laws of exponent, laws of radicals, and so on. Now, can you try number 3? Pwede yung i-pause, then resume yun na lang kung tapos na kayo. So, copy 4 plus x squared times derivative nito 2 minus copy times Derivative nito is 2x. Yan. All over 
4 plus x squared. Next tayo. Huli pa yun natin. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 2x squared. Ito naman, minus 4x squared. Over low low pala to. So, square natin dito. Ano next? Um, Simplify natin yung numerator. So, magiging 8 minus 2x squared. Kasi 2 minus 4 is negative 8. Okay? All over. Copy na lang muna natin ito. 4 minus x squared squared. Now, factor out natin. Ang factor nito ay 2 times 4 minus x squared. Okay? O, para ma-check natin, babalik tayo sa multiplication. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times negative 1 here. So, negative 2 is going to be x squared. Then, itong denominator natin, pwede natin siyang isulat as isulat. Then, dalawang 4 minus x squared. Ayan. So, cancel natin to. And for the final answer, copy the numerator, ang 2 na lang yan, all over 4 minus x squared. So, ito na yung final answer. What? Haba din ang solution. Number 4, Ang um, technique dito is practice, practice, practice. Hindi natin siya makukuha pag tinititigan lang natin. Dapat nakikita natin yung process. F prime of t is equal to copy 1 minus t squared times derivative nito 3t squared minus copy t cubed times derivative nito 2t. Okay. 2t ba? Tama. Oh, negative. It should be negative. Kasi negative ito. Huh? Be careful kapag may negative tayo. Negative 2t. Then we have 1 minus t square. Then square. Simplify natin. 1 times 3t square is 3t square. We have negative t squared times 3t squared, negative 3t raised to 4. Negative times negative, positive 2t raised to 4, all over 1 minus t squared squared. So we have... Meron ba tayong pwede i-simplify dito? Meron. Si itong t raised to 4. So, ito may iwan na lang 3t squared minus negative 3 plus 2 plus uh, negative 1t raised to 4. Over 1 minus t squared Pwede ba natin i-factor out yung numerator? Pwede ba? I think hindi na. So, if hindi na, ito na yung final answer. So, ganun. Kailangan talaga ng pasensya para ma-check natin kung tama yung sagot na. Now, I want you to answer number 5 and number 6. Pause the video. Then, resume watching if tapos na. Okay? So, let's assume na tapos ka na. Solve natin. 
f of x is equal to x plus 1 over x cubed plus x minus 2. Let's find the derivative. So, derivative. Copy the denominator. So, lagi na ako na ang mahabong fraction bar. Denominator natin ito. So, magiging x cubed plus x minus 2 times derivative nito is 1 minus copy natin ito. Nagitay ng parenthesis, x plus 1. Nagitay ng parenthesis kasi uh, binomial na ito. Times derivative nito is 3x squared plus 1. Then ito, x cubed plus x minus 2, erase natin sa ito. Now, f of x is equal to, simplify na natin, since multiply lang naman ito sa 1, so just copy x cubed by plus x minus 2. Then ito, foil natin. Minus, copy mo natin minus, x times 3x squared, 3x cubed. x times 1 is positive. 1 times 3x squared is positive 3x squared. 1 times 1 is positive 1. Then over x cubed plus x minus 2 squared. Ayan. Simplify natin numerator. So x cubed plus x minus 2. Distribute natin mo yung negative. So, may negative 3x cubed, negative x, negative 3x squared, and negative 2. Then, x cubed plus x minus 2 squared. Okay? Next tayo. Combine like terms in the numerator. So, x cubed minus 3x cubed is negative 2x cubed. Ito. Sa square naman, siya lang naka-square, so just copy, negative 3x squared. Next, positive x minus x, wala na yan, 0. Then, negative 2 minus 1, negative 1. Then, sa denominator, x cubed plus x minus 2, Yan naman yung final answer. Double check natin. Dato tayo mag-end. Oh, ito na yung final answer natin kasi wala na tayo mapapaktor dito. Ayan. Tama ba sagot ninyo? How about dito sa number 6? So, paano ito natin sasagutin? Okay? So, apply natin, pero mas maganda na i-alam mo natin ito. I-expand. So, katumbas ng x minus 1 square is square the first term, x squared, multiply the first term and the second term, times 2, negative 2x plus 1. And alam natin na ito, katumbas din yan ng x minus 1 times x minus 1. Ayan. Pakita na natin para alam natin kung ano yung mga gagamitin natin mamaya. So, mas gusto natin gamitin ito sa low natin para masimplify na natin mamaya. Siya din naman yan. Times derivative ng high natin is 1 minus Kaya natin si x times derivative nito. Kuya natin yung derivative nito. So we have 2x minus 2. Ayan. So ito siya. 2x minus 2. Derivative nito. All over. Ito ay magiging x minus 1 raised to 4 na. Kasi, square pa natin ito. Magiging 4. Simplify natin. 
multiply to 1 so x squared minus 2x plus 1 Next, multiply natin to. Negative x times 2x, negative 2x squared. And negative x times negative 2, positive 2x. The lower, x minus 1 raised to 4. Combine like terms, x squared minus 2x squared is negative x squared. Then, negative 2x plus 2x, 0. Then, copy natin si plus 1 all over x minus 1 raised to 4. Ayan. Ito, pwede natin siyang gawing negative tapos x squared minus 1. Tama? Common factor natin is negative. So, negative times x squared is negative x squared. Negative times negative, positive 1. All over x minus 1 raised to 4. Ayan. Factoring. Now, factor ulit natin ito. So, negative. Kapihin lang natin. Ang factor nito is difference of 2 squared x plus 1, x minus 1. All over, ito naman, just copy, raised to 4. Meron tayong common factor, so pwede natin siya i-cancel out. Cancel natin sa x minus 1 dito, then ito magiging 3 na lang. So magiging negative, x, ibalik natin, negative times positive, is negative x, negative times negative, negative 1. All over, x minus 1. This is now our final answer. Yan. So, pakimaster po lahat ng factoring techniques natin as well as special products. And lahat ng rules po natin sa laws of exponent and laws in radical.